Wednesday, June 26, 2013. Tonight is my first foray down to the shoreline to see if I can find a good vantage point to do some photography. I found a trail that leads down to the river just east of Rio Americana High School. It's a great little spot because the land is a peninsula that has good views of both the east and the west, with water as my foreground in both directions. This is great because from this one location, I will be able to photograph both sunrise and sunset. Tonight's sunset wasn't spectacular by any means, but there were a few clouds and the light got interesting for a moment or two. I am sure with the cloudless California summers, there may be many evenings when photos will not be that great. So I'll pick my photo days based on the weather and see what happens. But just being able to walk 10 minutes from the house to get down here and watch the water rush by, listen to the sound of the geese and the other birds, is really quite wonderful. And since these last couple weeks have been rather hectic, with packing, teaching, moving, flying around the country, unpacking, meeting contractors, and getting ready to take off again for another trip, just being able to veg out a bit and relax to the sound of the rushing water is really calming. So I just have to get it in my mind that every day may not be a good photo day, but every day will be a good river day. Sunday, August 18th, 2013. Wow, I don't know a better word to describe it. Tonight's sunset was truly amazing, the kind you remember for a long time. There was a great bank of clouds towards the east, so I pointed the camera upriver. And as the sun got lower and lower, the color in the clouds got more intense. The light was bouncing off those clouds, on the ground, in the water, and all around. Everything was glowing hot pink and blazing yellow. It was one of those magic moments where you can not only see the color, but you can feel the color vibrating through your body. I had all I could do to stop myself from screaming in joy. I shot another panorama, but I know when I stitch this one together, people are going to think I manufactured the color in Photoshop because it looks so unreal. I'm glad I was here to witness this surreal reality. I feel so blessed to have this so close. It makes me realize that just about anywhere you are, you can probably go out and find your own little slice of nature and learn to take advantage of it, if only you took the time. Thanksgiving week, November 25th to December 1st, 2013. School was out this week, so I went to the river every day but Saturday. That was one of the things to be thankful for. But I really have so much to be thankful for. Family, friends, a great house, and having the river so close. Winter is shaping up to be my favorite time on the river. Now that fishing season is winding down and the temperatures are dropping, I find most mornings I am the only one on the river. It reminds me of my friend Kim Hecox's award-winning book, The Only Kayak, about his journeys in Glacier Bay, Alaska. If I could only write as well as Kim does, that thought flows through my mind as I paddle in the solitude of the foggy mornings. Temperatures have been in the high 30s and 40s each morning, which is fantastic for creating that low fog rising off the water, giving everything a mysterious, mystical glow. I had another magical few moments with the otters on Thanksgiving Day. I guess they decided to help me celebrate. Saturday, June 14th, 2014. I don't carry a music player with me when I go out on the river, but sometimes the music is just there in my head. Today I couldn't get the song Lucky by Melissa Etheridge out of my head, especially the line, you don't know how lucky lucky can be. It was just one of those lucky days. First, I had a great encounter with a couple of otters and the light was so beautiful. Then I got to watch a great egret catch a tiny fish toss it in the air and grab it in its beak. After watching that, I paddled just a few yards downstream and there were two young bucks along the shoreline. They let me get real close and I spent several minutes photographing them, all the while holding a one-way conversation to keep their attention. And then to top it off, since the music was still going through my mind, I went downstream and the sun was hitting a clump of grasses that was growing out of the river. 
The grasses and the reflection reminded me of a sound wave, and the music just got better and better. <laughs> 